Hi, this is Sharon Bornholt with the Louisville Gals Real Estate Blog, and today I'm going to talk about how to use um, a free app called If This Then That. Now, what I'm going to show you today is how to use this uh, for scraping Craigslist. Most of you, or probably all of you, are familiar with Craigslist and how you can search for a property for sale on Craigslist. But it takes a lot of time out of your day. And what If This Then That does is it does the work for you. So if you, if you pull up the app, you'll, you'll look up here and see If Then This That. So it's I-F-T-T-T. And the thing that is kind of odd about this that I had a problem with is that they're called recipes. But you just kind of have to wrap your brain around that. So c step one is, if you don't already have it, create a free account on If This Then That, and also create an account on Craigslist. So the first thing that you need to understand is that you first have to develop your search on Craigslist. So today, now you uh, know, of course, that you pull up craigslist.org and then you pull up your city. In my case, that's Louisville, Kentucky. So what I'm going to look in is real estate for sale. So you click on real estate for sale. Then it's going to ask you, what kind of real estate do you want to look for? Now you have a lot of criteria that you can search for on Craigslist. But for today's example, we're going to search for um, houses that are have the keyword must sell and then I'm going to add I could add Louisville Kentucky if you'll look here for a minute the reason I want to add that is because these are not in my city Ekron Brandenburg and the different areas so we're going to say must sell and then Louisville so you would add your city and then you click enter and you see someone has posted the same house many different days okay now you see something coming up here in Henryville Indiana for those of you that might be ge geographically challenged um, that we live on the river so Indiana is is really close so but you can go over here I would not suggest that you check these now you could if once you get started you could click on posted today so you could have a check every day for what's just posted new today you can say I want to do 30 miles from a zip code maybe in the center of the city 40219 we'll say that do I want a minimum price not really but as an investor I might want a maximum price so we'll just say 200,000 now this could be whatever your criteria would be so we'll say I like three bedroom homes but sometimes they have uh, you can create a third bedroom so I usually look for two bedrooms plus um, you know all dates not furnished or any of those open house doesn't apply so you can see that right now today it has pulled up just one house for me so we're going to let that sit there for just a minute. We're going to go over here. Now remember our keywords are must sell in Louisville. We could have foreclosure Louisville, probate Louisville. Uh, it could be any needs work Louisville. Okay. The thing to remember is that you have to, um, you may lose some houses. It's going to search for the exact words you put in. So if you put in a whole long string of keywords, um, then it's going to match, only look for matches that have all of those keywords. So I really don't think you want to do that, but that's an individual choice. It's a little bit more trouble to set up the individual recipes, but at the end of the day, you just do it once and then it, and it will click it, you know, it will search for you for every day so I would say going forward I would say post uh, posted today we won't do that for today because I don't really know when this house was posted oh yes I do it says July 28th okay so we're gonna leave that so we're gonna go over here to if this then that 
you can always go in here and look at your recipes and it will tell you the recipes you've got set up but we're going to create a recipe today now I think this is a little bit confusing when you first do it so I'm going to go through this so the first part of the process is if this so where do we want it to search you can you can scroll through all of these different things or you can simply type in Craigslist and then you click on that okay now now you would think you've chosen it but you do actually have to click on this I'm going to click on that now it says search results from URL what that is is remember we pulled up over here on Craigslist uh, we put in our criteria and one house came up so that the URL is what the URL that Craigslist has created for your particular search so we're going to put that into the search box and we're going to create a trigger so our trigger is really go look on Craigslist for houses that have in Louisville that have the words must sell now we're going to click on that we're going to choose an action what do you want to happen do you want it to be sent to one of these devices well what I want it to do is to send it to my Gmail you can see that Gmail is there so you have a lot of choices in here of where you want it to be sent whoops uh, okay I'm just going to type in Gmail and I don't even have to type in the whole whole thing so the action I wanted to do is send me an email now you can see we're on step five of seven okay since I've already done this it will have my email address in there so I'm just going to click on that these things just don't fool with any of these things it's going to put the post title in there based on what you told it uh, the body of the content it's going to send you your your information uh, we don't have an attachment so we're going to create the action so um, we'll just look down here at the bottom a little bit and it says create recipe so if Craigslist posts something with that URL with the words must sell in it then it's going to send me an email so once we know that we've got that right uh, it's this is what it's going to come up in my email it's going to be the title create the recipe and and that's all there is to it so um, we're going to go back let's do let's do one more let's go back to my recipes <clears throat> and we'll do create recipe now we'll go back to Craigslist to see what they have for um, for let's say foreclosure let's just look for something see if anything comes up okay looks like here so if you're looking for foreclosures now notice here these may not actually be foreclosures but they're in definitely investor houses so investor would be a good word to search for remember that you only have to set these up one time so let's just say foreclosure that's our that's what we put in but you may get other things so we're going to copy that link remember we need the the exact Craigslist link for the search you've set up so we go back over here to if this we're gonna we want it to look on Craigslist so click that new posts from search we put in the URL that we just copied from this specific search and you'll notice here something it kept the price you could change that on every one but it carried forward the price of two hundred thousands and bedrooms of two or more so we'll create a trigger then that we want it to send us an email gmail send me an email to my address once you put that in there once of course it'll just pop up so this goes real fast then getting down here to the bottom it's wants to fly off the page create an action okay then don't forget to create your recipe so that's just how easy it is now what happens is once you have this set up to check every day 
then it will send you every time a new uh, house is posted that meets your criteria it will simply send you an email you don't have to go back and search Craigslist for deals anymore once you use if this then that so if you have any questions just send me an email at sharon.vornholt at gmail.com and I'll be happy to answer them that's all for today